Have you thought about moving to a new city for work? Well, the data tells us that we would all likely say no. I found an article written by Rachel Feinzig of Wall Street Journal. She is a work and life journalist for them. She found that fewer workers have been moving for new jobs during the pandemic. She found the percentage of job seekers who relocated for work fell 5% in 2020 and 4.2% in the first three months of 2021. This data is according to quarterly surveys of about 3,000 people collected from the outplacement firm Challenger Gray and Christmas. These numbers are down five, from 5.7% 5 in 2019 and 9.6% in 2018. So, as we can see, there was already a downward trend in place. Now, some of this dip might include would-be moves temporarily halted by virus concerns and temporary remote work setups. Andrew Challenger, a senior vice president at Challenger, stated the numbers could move upward as some companies start bringing employees back into the office, including recent hires who joined virtually. But he and other demography and career experts say that the pandemic likely accelerated a downward years-long trend of worker relocation. Chris Porter, chief demographer at John Burns Real Estate Consulting in Irvine, California, stated this, that this has been sort of an awakening moment for people, and I would completely agree. After what the world has gone through last year, he thinks that there might be a resetting of priorities. Many parents are not interested in pulling their kids from school to which they have just returned after a tumultuous stretch of virtual learning. Some companies are opening and expanding satellite locations that could prevent the need for a physical move. And workers who have grown used to the flexibility of logging on from home might resist the idea of putting their families through a huge transition just so they can commute to new headquarters each day. John Tuey, a Philadelphia area executive recruiter with Salvinson Stetson Group says, Part of, it, part of it is potential employees have this, I'm offered that level of freedom in my current position, so tell me why I should give that up, kind of a mindset. And honestly, can you blame them? He's noticed that job candidates are much more resistant to relocating for new opportunities these days. He thinks potential hires want to make decisions because they are personally motivated and they are doing what is right for themselves and their families versus what's right for the employers. In fact, many Americans have indeed moved during the pandemic, but they have not moved to places their jobs have asked them to go. Now being untethered from the office, they set out in search of more space and a cheaper living cost. Some landed closer to relatives or just somewhere they have always wanted to be. Now that they are there, it might be hard to get them to leave. For example, says Don Slamowitz, a product manager for a consulting firm says he feels like he can lay down roots here he says this about his choice to move to Centennial, Colorado last fall. He strategically kept his Chicago-based role, enabling him to score the promotion he had been working towards for years. But even as a distant employee, he's loving the area's snowboarding, hiking, and vegan offerings. He eventually hopes to buy a home there. The 29-year-old says he wouldn't move for a company anymore. He just feels that he can prioritize where he wants to be and still have a career. I think this is a general sentiment currently across the United States. Even before the pandemic, fewer Americans were moving around the country to grow their careers with factors like changing family ties, keeping folks in place. As the pandemic eases in the United States, some employers are eager to get their workers back where they can see them, but companies see the benefits in building a workforce that's at least partially remote. They might save on compensation. For example, 
they don't have to pay a Milwaukee worker a Manhattan salary. And they have access to a wider pool of talent. In turn, employees have access to more opportunities not requiring a change of address. Sounds like a win-win for families rooted in their current location. Of course, just because a company tolerates remote work doesn't mean the path is sustainable or leads to the top. It's possible workers might eventually feel pressure to move closer to headquarters to advance. This was said by Jed Kolko, chief economist with the job site Indeed. Or if people do stay remote, they could actually make their families more mobile for other opportunities. Therefore, if dad isn't tied to San Francisco area, the household can now more easily transfer to Fort Worth for mom's job. There are so many forces going in both directions, he says. Roderick Brown wasn't looking for a remote role when he started his job hunting last fall, and he had always wanted to live in California. But when he was given offers from two tech companies, one required a move to the Pricey Bay area and the other one enabled him to stay at home in Houston, well, he chose home. He says he always wanted to live in California but the economics kept him home in Houston. He and his wife are still open to moving down the line, but it has to be a pretty perfect situation for them to move. Overall, people are still moving, but for different reasons these days. What would make you consider moving? Would you be willing to move for your career? Hey guys, it's me, Delana Metz with Willow Real Estate. We are located inside of North Texas. And just to kind of bring this whole video to, to a point, I am actually in the process of recording it while in my travel trailer located at Lake Ray Roberts for the Bassmasters Classic. Um, this kind of brings to a good point of remote work. It's one of those things where you can do just about anywhere. Um, even my husband works from home and he has brought his work with him. So we spend our day inside here getting some work done and we're right here by the lake and we go home when it's all over. It's kind of nice. Also, um, if you got this far as well, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button down there. It would be a, a great support for myself to get the videos out there so others can be seeing this information as well. Hope you've enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.